All right, so I'm in Livingston Manor. We're here to see my friend Robin, and she suggested that we do a little tour on this Bodies and Plants. This is where she does her Pilates. So it's Plants and Pilates. So we're gonna do a little tour of this space and maybe we'll even do uh, some moves. <laughs> Although I haven't worked out in so long. <laughs> So you sell your plants. You sell your well, plants, but you're also in the aura of your plants. Yes, so mostly I'm in the aura of the plants. Yeah. But it's kind of always been part of the mission to also sell them. Yeah. Um, which we just started doing like within the last like month or two, I would say. So and so like these ones over here are the ones that we're selling. Okay, so how does it work? Like do, do people come in thinking you're just a plant shop? Like A lot of times that's what's <laughs> happening. So I had doing like, like a course and like So class. I had like put a sign on the door yeah. like during the pandemic that was like, you know, by appointment only. Because I was like kind of tired of people walking in being like, oh, they would just walk in and like loft around and I'd be like, we're not what you think we are. Like this is a student, this is a plant <laughs> But then- Plant um, people are like that yeah. though, you know? They would just like, they were they would come in mesmerized and be like, hi, but I'd be like in the middle of a session. So it was like yeah. kind of awkward. Like, oh my God, the person in the session was probably like, what is yeah, this? Like what's happening? <laughs> but um, now it's, it's cool because we've been doing like on the weekends, um, Saturdays and Sundays selling plants. And yeah. I have my husband sit here and sell them while I am in the back and I'm teaching. So he got roped into it. He got roped into it, but he loves plants too. And oh, okay, good. this is sort of like, kind of like our little project together. Yeah. So it's kind of been fun to actually be able to include him because yeah. he's not, I mean, he likes to work out and he does Pilates with yeah. me sometimes, but he's not an instructor by any means. So right. it, that part is separate. Right. So did you always have plants in the Pilates studio or did you get plants? It was like, we've I mean, your always, body's in plants. So yeah, it's like, we've okay. always, we've always had plants. Like when we opened the studio, I was like, the most important thing is that we're like filling it with plants. Yeah. So that was like the number one, well, maybe not the number one, but that was <laughs> one of the most important factors. Cause I just like being involved in a jungle. Like yeah. I just, I don't know. It makes me feel like more calm mm. and I like having, I like having them around, I like having something to take care of. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like there's a lot of synergy between bodies and bodies and plants. Yeah. Um, but the added plants are, the ones that we're selling are newer, like working with a wholesaler, somewhat local to get them. So then those are the ones for sale. So those ones for sale. Okay, and these are the ones not for sale. These are the ones not for sale. <laughs> but no matter how many times you tell people that, they go yeah. right over here <laughs> and they ask about- They're like, I want they the, ask big about the big one. <laughs> <laughs> the bike is elastic. Yeah. I can't blame them because there's a hair salon in Brooklyn yeah. that I go to and they have a really big one of those. This is a little more of the green leaf variety. And I was, hey, would you ever sell that? Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, no. And I'm like, damn it. But that being said, there was a, a nail salon that had a Hoya uh -huh. that um, was huge. They had a price tag on it. And I was like, are you selling that? And they're like, yes. And I was like, okay, I'll buy it. Nice. <laughs> Everything has a price though. It's true. <laughs> But when did you add the plants for sale? Within the last month or so. Oh, uh, really? June, early June. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so like and it was very... because, and it was spurred by so many people asking for um, them. It, it was, it was sort of always the mission. Okay. It's just the pandemic kind of set us. Okay. So we opened in February, 2020. I see. Um, right, right during. Right during. Wow. Yeah. And so what, we was kind of just like survival mode and yeah. there wasn't any room to like add on to yeah. what we had, had hoped for. Yeah. So, so what have been your best sellers in a month? What have been my best sellers in a month? <laughs> Let me see. What have been my best sellers? I mean, you have a lot these, of Monstera and Sony. Yes, too, those yeah. have been, these little ones have been selling a lot. I think yeah. people, I think they honestly like the pots, but yeah. they, I think people are attracted to this also. Um, what else have we been selling a lot? Well, I don't have any left, but yeah. the the ruby ficus, yeah, um, that one, the like the colorful one, uh -huh. yeah, the, that one's been selling a lot. Yeah, I mean, you don't have any other. Do you have plant shops around here? No, no. Okay, so then this is a place where people could get their plant fix yeah. and their Pilates. Yeah. Okay. We've been selling some ZZs. I think, yeah. I think Robin took a ZZ. You, I saw one ZZ in your house. Yeah. You took. You got a little bit of a bigger one. We have these really cool, like succulents, like this Ripsalis. Yeah, I love this. This is a Ripsalis pilocarpa. And love this one. And the banana. I don't know the genus name, but Curio radicans. Yeah. 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 String of bananas. Very nice. <laughs> and the dolphins. Yeah. But surprisingly, those are not going as fast as I thought they huh. would. I, I find them really beautiful. This Hoya is great. 
Yeah. I'm surprised no one's swiped that up. Same. Maybe it's like the, the Hoya craze hasn't come here yet to Maybe the Catskills. Not, but they like this Hoya. They want that one, but that one's not for sale. Oh, because it's like probably so colorful. It seems like people want the pink. They, 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 colors, they, they yeah. gravitate towards the yeah. pink. I mean, look at this, and you have like cool lighting fixtures. Yeah. That, that was actually my very first plant I got at a bodega in Brooklyn. Really? And I had it like just in a plastic pot for years. And then when we opened the studio, I was like, this plant is like made of steel or something. Like yeah. it can go through anything. So I was like, I'm gonna stick it in this light fixture. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's growing extremely well. Yeah. There. And, it, and it's, How I'm do you worried about it because it doesn't have like proper drainage or yeah. anything. I was just like, we'll see what happens. And How do you water it? I get on a ladder and okay. just, you know, do a little, kind of with all of these hanging ones, I have yeah. to get on a ladder. And look at this, look at this string of bananas or string of fish hooks. So cool, right? Wow. We love that one. And you're not, you're only getting this light. You're not even having anything that's like a top it, down there's lighting. There's not anything yeah. extra, nope. Yeah. yeah. And then let's take a look at this because you crammed your window with uh, Yeah. So what do we have here? Um, this is probably my favorite. You're like lemon lime yeah. maranta. Which they're very hard to find actually. Are they? Yeah. Here, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to get some so that we can sell some and I can't find any, so I've been propagating them, but I don't have like a proper right, greenhouse right. situation. I, right. So it takes some time. Right. I just do it in one. And you'd be you'd sell them probably in like smaller, smaller containers. Yeah. Yeah, I actually recently sold one in like this size container. Oh really? That, I had that you had propagated? Yeah. Oh my God, that's so amazing. Yeah. You'd become like your own little nursery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And then some spider plants. Some spiders, yeah. I, I propagated those and I'm working on those pileas there. Yep. And then when did you get your big boy ficus? The big boy ficus I got when, like right before we opened, there's actually a greenhouse up in Delhi. So I got it from them, but it wasn't as big mm -hmm. then, and it's definitely gone. And then your Schifflera. And same thing, I got that yeah. same one from them. Um, they both were already really big when I got them, but mm -hmm. they, but I think they're happy because they're, <laughs> they're on the way up. <laughs> and then this is some, some of the stuff that I was so selling, you yes, said, yeah, exactly. the ficus elastica, the yeah. ones that are. We did sell a, yeah. a bunch of pileas also, actually. And then how about in here? So this is where you do like more of your... So this is mainly where the privates happen. Yeah. Um, some interesting things back here. I don't think it's very happy because it was getting a lot of cold air from that air conditioner. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, and then here's another mm -hmm. Ripsalis right that's here. That's another Ripsalis. Yeah. This one is really cool. I like this one. Oh, that's like a, they call it purple passion plant, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And it's like soft and fuzzy. Pepperomi Hope. This is like one of this is uh this is pretty too. Yeah. And you have your little monstera in the yeah. corner. Monstera. Mm -hmm. Um big huge ro Congo Rojo. Yeah. This one I got big again, but not near not nearly this big. Yeah. One of the things I learned from you is how to fertilize properly. Oh, yay. And so like <laughs> that's been really helpful. <laughs> You're on your little routine here. Yeah. Yeah. And then here's your little propagation station. Mm, yep, exactly. Yeah. So some, I think the only thing that's not a propagation situation are these two yeah. succulents but, and this one. But everything else is growing roots in water. Um, some of them I just sort of like, like this um, ivy, I just sort of like it there. So yeah. I don't know if I'll ever actually put it in soil. Right. Um, but these, like I told you, are really hot. Yeah. Commodity, so we'll probably... So everybody wants to buy one. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. But it doubles as like wall decoration. Exactly. Stage. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have your ficus lyrata uh -huh. in, the, in the corner. Yep. There's a little palm over there. Again, it's a little crunchy, I think. Palms are really challenging. I don't, I don't think I've had a palm in my house just because it's just it's impossible. Think, yeah. yeah. It's definitely gotten bigger, but it's... Yeah. it's like it's kind of always like a little dry on the the edges there. The Shamadoras, which are like, they, they're like an understory palm, mm -hmm. I found are the ones that are fairly resilient. But, mm. but this is great. I mean, even looking at it this way, it's just so, it's so lush. all the ones that are dangling down. Like, I just think it's cool to have.
It almost adds like another layer of privacy, especially yeah. that front window, because when people walk by, they actually can't really see in. Right. And you're doing classes or only private clients? Both. Classes, okay. Classes and private. So classes happen out here, and then private clients happen in both yeah. rooms, but primarily we're back here. And how long have you been doing Pilates, just out of curiosity? Since 2012. Okay. Here we are. Oh my gosh. I haven't done any kind of like um, stretching or anything like that in so long. We do functional workouts at New Homestead. Well, yeah. you're at a Pilates studio. Have like, you ever done no. a springboard? No, it's, what is that? It's just called a springboard. So okay. It looks like a torture device. <laughs> it's not. It's actually really nice. Do you want me to show you a couple Yeah, things? show me. Yeah. Um, Okay, so you can stand, you can stand here. I'm just okay, gonna, I'll just facing it? Facing it. Okay. And then grab outside the bar. Like outside, outside the, the bar, hooks, okay. And then take like a pretty significant step back. Okay. That's too much, go forward. Okay. <laughs> too much. And then start to pull the bar straight down towards the front of your body and then lift the bar back up. And if that feels like it's too hard, you can take a little step forward. I see, so you could like, you could. You kind of create, it's yeah. just nice resistance. Yeah. Um, the upper body there's lots of different things you can do but and you so probably like do you tuck your butt in and like so just kind of think about abs? like stacking your spine like yeah. your pelvis over your feet your ribs over your pelvis your shoulders over your ribs and then your head floating on top of your shoulders so okay. you're just kind of aligning yourself up and over your feet and then when you're pulling the bar towards you you can think a little bit about like hugging the low ribs in how's yeah. my form it looks good <laughs> don't lie yeah, I'm not lying <laughs> <laughs> How's it working out in, in between all the points? Um, well, I'm She's kind of facing, facing the wall facing. right yeah, now. Yeah, let's face away. Yeah. Let's do yeah. something facing the other okay. way. So okay. turn around and grab the bar this way. Okay. And then just don't let go of the bar. But okay. I feel like I have to prep you with that. Okay. But walk forward until you feel a really big stretch across your shoulders. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, and then you can kind of just like lean into it. Until like you... lean this way. Uh-huh. Exactly. This, is, this feels great for anybody who works on the computer. Yes. A lot. This is always a fan yeah. favorite. Yeah. That's nice. You should probably do this one, Sonder. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Especially like using the uh, the camera all the time. Like this. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> There's probably a little bit of shifting going on in the torso. Does it do other things? It does like, do other it has things. a like a lower bar too. Yeah, let me I don't want to put you on the floor with okay. that. So let me put it back down. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then lay down on your back, just be careful with your head. Okay, down let me just do that. <laughs> I'm a little taller than I thought. <laughs> and then place those loops on your feet. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Are you sure this is like a torture device? Okay. And then just yeah. make sure your head is like centered over your shoulders. Yes, you okay, might hold on, yeah. back a little bit. Okay, yeah. Perfect. You're bringing your heels together. Do you mind if I touch your feet? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, and I then feel separate, so ridiculous. Separate your big toes. Okay. <laughs> Bend your knees like really deeply. Like this? Uh-huh. Okay. And then you're gonna push your feet down and towards my belly until they're straight. Straight in your knees. Oh, straight in my yep. knees. Yep, okay. drop your butt down into the mat. Okay, my butt is my butt, butt is, is like floating. So my, butt, butt my butt is floating. <laughs> <laughs> Bend your knees back in towards uh, your shoulders okay. and, and separate your knees a little bit. So this is called frog. Okay. So if you picture like a frog's legs. Yeah. Yeah. I think I could get used to this, but it's like, wait, do my feet come together? Nope. Keep no. the heels. Keep them like this. Heels okay. together, toes apart, and okay. then bend your knees back in. Like this. Yep. Okay, and then out like this. Uh huh. Okay. She's so patient with me. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Okay. And then another uh, one you can do here is lift your legs straight up and oh, then open hard. for a circle. Pull them down. Uh-huh. And like you can this? draw them all the way together. Oh, okay. Wow. I just feel like oh, th I've never done this before, so <laughs> it's unusual. You're going to be sore tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be doing enough of that. I, it takes a lot for me to get sore. <laughs> this is nice. I feel nice. like it, it's like, um, it's a uh, massage for your joints. Exactly. Oh yeah. my God, I always talk about that. I always yeah. say how, people, I don't know if people can resonate with that, but obviously you can, which yeah. is cool. It's, it's like, like synovial fluid. Like yeah. oftentimes, like when I feel like I work out, you oftentimes just get into the workout. Yes. And then you feel like your joints never warmed up. Like sometimes yeah. I, I prefer to do like a little ab workout before mm -hmm. I actually go for a run. Cause I uh -huh. feel like if I just go run cold, like my spine, I don't know. It's like, it's just getting compressed. Yeah. Compressed. Yeah. yeah. And my knees too. And yeah. I'm like, if I just like move my legs and get my like joint fluid moving, right. like I, and like, I feel like 
Yeah, yeah so. totally. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> and there's like so, like I get very creative with what we can do there, but those yeah. are just little snippets of types of things that we do. Plants and Pilates. I think you'll get too distracted. I know, it's true. Never be able to it's that. true. Oh, this is perfect. I love this little, like, uh, I love it. I love the little tour. And I love that you incorporated it in your, not only like your work, but also your lifestyle. And you brought your husband along with you. And I did, yeah. He can't turn back now. <laughs> My friends and I have started a communal homestead in the Finger Lakes region of New York. And we're documenting our journey on our new channel, Flock Finger Lakes. We'll also be reinvesting 10% of our Google AdSense revenue from that channel back into the Finger Lakes community as well, which will be matched by our partners at Espoma Organic. So if you have a chance, check out the new channel to see what we're up to. In the meantime, if you're looking to expand your repertoire of plant education, then you can check out our full suite of online courses, including Houseplant Basics, the 125 Houseplant Care Spreadsheet, Troubleshoot Your House Plants, and the Houseplant Masterclass. More information on all those courses can be found on homesteadbrooklyn.com.